Hey everybody, it's Sketch of Sketch TV, and I'm going to be answering the questions from the Q&A video. Now, I know I said I would do it when I reached 30, but I guess I'm, but I figure I've waited long enough for this, so I'm going to go ahead and answer the questions now. Okay, first set of questions comes from the Boomstick545 Archives account. Several questions. One, how did you come up with your username, and did you have any accounts before this one? I came up with the username GNR and SDP 911 when I thought of my two favorite bands at the time, Guns N' Roses, GNR, and Stone Temple Pilots, STP. But apparently, for some reason, that name had already been taken, so I decided to think of another name, but to throw it in a little cleverly, you know? And then I came up with my third favorite band at the time, The Police. Therefore, coming up with the term 911. And did I have any accounts before this one? Yeah, I did. I had like two, but I took them down because either the name sucked or my parents didn't like it. Um, the first one I can remember was Slash Rocks 45. I deleted that one because I really did. My dad really didn't like me being on YouTube at the time. He does now. Um, the second one was Johnny Rocker 123321. You can tell why I closed that one. The name sucked. Okay, number two from the Boomstick 545 archives. What do you like and dislike seeing in YouTube commentaries, and which is your favorite commentary that you've done? What I like to see is a lot of valid arguments, and uh, the occasional really funny joke actually does help. You know, that's just me. I don't, I don't, but what I dislike about seeing in YouTube commentaries is where people make pointless points, you know, pointless bits, and just not even making many valid arguments, just throwing insults around, you know? And what is my favorite commentary that I've done? That, that's, a, that's a pretty tough one. I mean, I love all the commentaries I've done up till now, but if it came right down to it, I would probably have to say my Send In The Troops video. I'll, I'll put the link down in the description. I do a commentary on a Christ bag in that one. That's just my personal favorite. I, I understand everyone has their own. Third question. Again, Boomstick 545 Arcot. What do you like and dislike seeing in YouTube rants or reviews, and what is your favorite video of either genre? What I like seeing in rants and reviews is some clever jokes, some good edits, and definitely some valid points. Valid points is the most important bit, in my opinion. And what is my favorite video of either genre? Well, I would probably have to say that as far as rants went, I would probably have to say that my Sonic fanboys and fangirls rant, which I decided to rename videos like that, the Fantard Chronicles, based on Helsing 920's Fanboy Chronicles. As far as reviews, I'd probably have to say I like my uh, Ricochet Kills 2 Let's Play, because that's, you know, just technically a review. But as far as reviews, I'd probably, ha in general, like not for me, I'd probably say like the angry video game nerd, maybe. That's just me. Um, and rants, my favorite ranter would probably have to be Helsing920, mainly because he's one of the only ranters I ever watch. Alright, number four from the Boomstick 545 archives, and this is the last one. What are your future plans for video? I definitely plan to have a CAW Wrestling League up, uh... I, called NLWL. If you look at my videos, you'll find videos called NLWL PSA or NLWL Themes and Finishers. Those are definitely stuff you want, things you want to look at in order, preferably. Just uh, don't take every single last thing you see to heart. All right, and I ha hope to have that up soon enough. I definitely plan on making more Sketch TV Let's Plays. The Sketch TV randomness, that ain't going anywhere, and neither are the commentaries or the maxed out rants, or the fan tart chronicles, or hell, even the awesome dance series. And I plan once I become a partner to maybe throw a little green screen right back here just to add a little extra entertainment factor to my videos. But enough about that. Let's move on to Anonymous Hates Fags 1. Oh, this will be fun. Why do you suck Boomstick 545's dick so much? Kiss my ass. Why the fuck did you put your elbows on the table? Because I wanted to. Will you do a shitty butthurt rant on me? I need commentating material, faggot. No. How many kids have you raped? Let's skip that one. 
Next question is from a Hosier Twelve. Would you grow a beard for ten bucks? Um. Yeah, yeah, I could use the extra money. Next question is from Tubers Ninety Three. Hey Tubers! Why the hell did I just do that? What was your first video game console? I would probably say... I, I can't really remember what it was. I know it was like a really old-fashioned system. You had to slide the cartridges in the front. If I had to guess what it was after all this time, I'd probably say it was maybe a Sega Genesis or Sega Saturn. I can't really remember, to tell you the truth. But in terms of the first video game console I had that I can remember, that would be the Nintendo GameCube. Mr. Dark 1707 is the next question asker, and he says, Why have you got a mustache? I don't have a mustache anymore, all I got is peach fuzz. But I had it at the time because, well, I thought it looked cool. Next question is from Hodgson3172. What up, Hodge? You just lost the game! Okay, where did that come from? <clears throat> Four questions from him. One, who is your favorite commentator? If it came down to my favorite commentator, I would probably have to say Boomstick with Loudon Styles at a close second. Shout out to Loudon, bro. Number two, who is your favorite reviewer? If it came right down to it, I would definitely say the Angry Video Game Nerd. Maybe, you know, the Nostalgic Critic. I don't know. But I guess Loudon would probably be one of the three that I would consider. Mostly because the commentators on the review thing is something that I haven't really seen yet, and that's definitely original, so I really like it. Three, who is the most epic fail lols cal you've ever seen on the internet? Chris Chan, enough said. Four, who are your inspirations for Video Man? One of them is obviously Boomstick545. That guy has had such a huge influence on me, it's not even hilarious. But for my rants, that would definitely be Helsing920. I don't know if I can really pull it off very well, but I try. Another of my inspirations, this is for, uh, like, my Let's Plays. I can't really tell who my inspirations for those are. I'd probably say, you know, in terms of the Sketch TV Let's Plays, it may, it may be Tuber. I, I, I like to think that uh, I, I'm pretty original in that respect. The Awesome Dance series, I just came up with that out of boredom. Sketch TV randomness, I guess you could say a mix of Boomstick 545 and my own boredom. Next comes from the Nation of Johnny K. What up, Loudon? Jesus, I have got to stop drinking so much soda. Alright, two questions. One, will you ever get a partnership if it was offered? Yeah, I definitely would. For some reasons. One, it pays. Two, are you really expecting me to get a give a second reason? Number two, what do you think of SmackDown vs. Raw 2011? I haven't really played it yet since it's not even fucking out yet, but if it came down to first impressions, I definitely say it's basically going to be SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 with better graphics. Enough said. Um, Interactive Booster asks, do you play any games? For example, Gran Turismo 3 for the PS2, GTR 2 for the PC. COD4 for the Xbox 360, blah, 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 blah. Um, I play a lot of Modern Warfare Reflex on my Wii, and uh, you can often catch me playing Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New Age on the Wii. Most of the games I play are on Wii, you know, so that's, that's kind of the thing. You will actually occasionally catch me playing an old GameCube game that I brought out, you know, I, I, I can't say which ones. I, I really don't remember. Um, okay, next, Awesome G53 asks, WWE or TNA? TNA! 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 That's your answer, boy. Kenny6676 asks, asks, Know you? Yeah, me! Ha! Give me a moment here. Genotaku123 asks, One, are you really Pedo Bear or Show to Cat? Evil face. No. Number two, who inspired you to do commentaries? Um, originally, you know, I, Hodge really pushed me into doing the whole commentary thing. He, he recommended, he thought I had a, had a chance at it, and, you know, I definitely think that was cool, but in terms of my actual commentaries, 
this just occurred to me. I didn't say this a few moments ago because it didn't occur to me at the time. Not only did Boomstick influence my commentaries, but Dark Angel of Light, Tian Pan, and Pikachu Zero Z. I know they basically have the same style, but what can I say? Um, number th number three, how did you come across YouTube? I um, saw this one little bit on VH1 called I Love the New Millennium, and they mentioned YouTube, and I figured, what the hey, I'll go to that. This was like uh, a few years ago. That's when I went on to it. That's when I started my original two accounts, and a few months later, the cult success known as GNR and SDP 901 and Sketch TV was born. Four, where would you like to move? If it came right down to it, I would really definitely love to maybe move to Scotland, maybe to Ireland, because that's the home of my family, and I definitely think, feel a sort of attraction to that place. Uh, call me cheesy if you want, that's just how I feel. Number five, why so serious? Does this look like a serious face? Does it? Okay, it doesn't. Ketty6676, okay. Ketty6676 asks, My question is, Sandwich or cake? Well, the cake is a lie, so I'm going to say sandwich. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my answers to the Q questions you have submitted to me for the Q&A. Check back with me at another time, and I will be, you know, leave your comments in the comments section, and I'll be sure to give you more answers next time. Until next time, this has been Sketch McLean. For so long as lols exist, so, so, so shall Sketch TV. Sayonara.